Today I'll show you how you can embed videos on your WordPress website. And we'll cover a couple of different methods and scenarios so you can pick the one that works best for you. So let's dive in. The first method is by embedding in your blog post. So let's go to a blog post that we want to embed something. You can start from scratch as well. I'm going to edit this blog post. And I want to come down here and I want to put it right here. So I'm going to come here and hit enter. Now we need to choose a video to embed. The cool thing about this is this works with multiple video hosting providers like YouTube, Wistia, Vimeo, and a few others. And let's grab the video that we want. So I'm going to copy the link, right click copy. We'll head back over to our post where we wanted to put it. And I can right click paste that in there. As soon as I paste it, it'll automatically embed. And that is the beauty of many of these there is a whole list of things that you can auto embed, not just videos, but things like Amazon, Animoto, ClydeUp. You can do Twitter, Facebook. This is the reason why you're able to add a link in here and it'll automatically bring it in. It's the O embed technology. And so once you do that, you can click update. Now, don't worry if you're using the classic editor, let me show you how you can do that. First, I need to turn off the Gutenberg block editor, turn on the classic editor, You've probably installed a plugin in order to do that. For me, I'm going to come down here to my code snippets by WP Code. I'm going to go to code snippets and add new search for classic. This is just a simple way to do several things for your website without having to install code. So I'm going to use the snippet where I'm disabling the Gutenberg block editor. I'm going to enable the classic. Simply turn this to active. We're going to update that. And now I can go to a post that I want. I'm going to go back to that same one. And here's the classic. I'm going to scroll down to an area where I want to add it. Go to a new line. And I'm going to control V or paste that in again. Very similar to the other one. As soon as you install it or as soon as you paste that in, it will update, which is very cool. Now, if you want to embed a video in your sidebar area, then you can come over here and go to appearance, go to widgets, and we'll do something quite similar. We want to come up here to the plus button. And from here, we want to start searching for video. And just to give you an idea, there are all of these others that you can use like Vimeo. You can do Ted, TikTok, a few others. The one that we're still working with is YouTube. So I'm going to scroll down here, going to enter the URL. And once I click embed, then it'll do that. Once we update this, now that will be in our sidebar area. So those are the first three methods. But what if you want to take your video embedding to like a whole new level? Maybe you want to really incorporate several videos. Maybe it's your own YouTube channel and you want to bring it into like a whole multimedia section of your website. This is where something like Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro will come in. And I'll show you a couple of other plugins that you can use to embed videos. But I love the Smash Balloon plugin because it lets me do so much with the YouTube videos. So you can head over to Smash Balloon. They have a free version if you want to get started. But to show you some of the features that you get when using the Smash Balloon Pro, I'm going to use this one. So from your account, go ahead and go to Downloads area. And one of the things I love about Smash Balloon is you can automatically embed all of your channel videos, not just one or two here or there. When you automatically embed it, it will automatically import any new videos so you don't have to keep coming back to it and adding it. You can also do things like live streaming. You can embed, embed YouTube playlists and so much more. You can also add the likes, shares and comments and reactions on your page on your website so that you can really incre increase the social proof of your website. Under downloads, we want to download the YouTube feed pro and I'm also going to copy the license key as well. Now let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to go to plugins. We'll go to add new and we want to upload a plugin. You can choose file and find it. Since I have it down here, I'm going to left click, drag it up, click install now. And we'll also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. I'm done with this, so I'll close this out. Go ahead and activate the plugin as well. And now we see a YouTube feed over here on the left where we can go and make some changes. We're going to go to settings so we can add our license key. I'm going to paste the license key that we got from the website and click activate. 
Great, now that that's done, we can add a source. You wanna be able to add your YouTube channel from here. I'll ask you to confirm, and I'll also ask you which brand channel or which channel do you want to connect to. And you also want to say that you want to allow it access. Once it's allowed access, you'll see it here. And now we can create any kind of feed that we want. Okay. Now let's go over to the all feeds area so we can create a feed. From here, we'll click create new. And this is where you want to make a choice of how you want to do it. And right from here, you can see all the different types of feeds you can choose from. You can do either your own channel, you can do a playlist, favorites. So anything that you're favoriting, you can pull those in. You can do a single live stream. So if you're doing live stream, you can even do a search. So that means if you connect your channel to this, you can search specific advanced searches and bring those videos in whether or not it's on your channel or not. It's really cool. And then they have something that's called a social wall, a little bit more advanced, but if you're really into all your social media channels and you have a lot of stuff coming to multiple profiles on your social media profiles, then this will bring it all in into one cool wall. But for this one, let's just do a channel just to show you what this looks like. We're gonna click next. And from here, you can enter any channel ID or username to display all the accounts. The easiest way to find that it's either your username like this. You also might see the channel name like this, and this is the other one that they're talking about. So for this one, we're going to add our username and click connect. From here, you can choose the type or style of your feed. So the default is all of them in one area. You can also do a gallery, which I really like this simply because it'll have all of the videos below it, but then you'll have your main portion. So the one video that you want to play will be at the top. So we're gonna choose that one and click next. And now we can look at some of the embedding features and it's just walking us through this. So this is where you can make all different kinds of changes that you want. So we can click save. And now we can add it to something. So for this, I actually wanna put it on a page on all of our videos. So now we're going to add a new page. We'll call it videos. And from here, we can do a little plus icon. And we're looking for feeds for YouTube. So this is the one we want. Let's click on that and it'll automatically bring this in. And now when we click publish, and we view that page in incognito, you see all of these coming in. The next plugin is called YouTube subscribe bar and it'll show you a YouTube subscribe button below your video embed. So if you're trying to grow your channel, then this is probably something that you want. We first created it back in the day for our channel when we were trying to grow it and many users asked us to share it. So we've decided to create it as a free plugin. So what you want to do here is go to plugins. Let's go to add new and you are searching for YouTube subscribe bar. And what's cool about this is no matter what embedded video you have on your site, you can show a little subscribe button and it'll subscribe to whatever channel you're pointing it to. So let me show you how this works. So let's go ahead and install it and activate the plugin as well. Now the next plugin is perfect if you're embedding and you're not using the Smash Bloom plugin, the embed, a lot of times when you embed a video, it slows down your site just a little bit because it's pulling in that embed. And with the lazy load for videos, it will take away that problem. If you're using something like Smash Balloon, you don't have to worry about it. Smash Balloon does the lazy loading itself, but we can go to plugins, add new, and we'll search for lazy load for video. This is the one we're looking for. Let's go ahead and install it and activate the plugin. Once it's activated, there's nothing that you really need to do, but you can go either up here to lazy load for videos, or if you ever need to come back and make adjustments, you can go to settings and go to lazy load for videos to make any kind of adjustments that you need to here. And now if you want to know which videos on your website are getting the most views and how far along they're watching, people are watching on your website, watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to track your video analytics on your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.